This is why I don't pre-order any product from Samsung. Well, any product from a lot of different uh, care, I mean, companies at this point, is because of the fact that the pre-order bonus is a nothing burger. I really complained about this in a video a couple of days ago when I talked about why you probably should never pre-order a um, foldable cell phone. And it's a little bit less when it comes to like flagship cell phones, like for example, the S23 Ultra right now. It's still sitting at a price tag around $1,100, $1,200. Even during the holiday season, the lowest I saw it was like around $900 to $1,000 brand new. But... There's really never a reason to pre-order these cell phones because of the fact you're not really getting any bonus. You know, with flagships, with at least they keep their value. Foldable cell phones, whether the Z Fold series, the Oppo series, the OnePlus series, the Google Pixel Fold, it's going to drop in price almost to a point where it's going to be $800 off. But if you wait a couple of months or if you wait to the holiday season, you're probably going to get that phone for like almost half off. Not not half off, but you're going to get it for a lot more discounted, right? You don't you can't say the same thing about flagship phones, whether it is a iPhone, a Samsung Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra, whatever. You're not going to be able to do that same concept. So that's why I will say it's a little bit less of a don't, you know, you can pre-order the S24s or pre-order flagship phones a little bit easier because the price aren't going to be discounted as much. But when it comes to offers and bonuses they give you, it's just always the same exact bonuses and offers and it's never worth your money. So it has been leaked what the S24 Ultra's pre-order bonus is going to give you. And you probably guessed it because if you already pre-ordered with Samsung before, you get the same thing every single time. Whether you pre-ordered Z Fold 5, pre-ordered an S23 Ultra, etc. What you're going to get is a discounted version or a discount on their earbuds, earbuds or a discount on their Galaxy Watch. So you get one of two options. You can either get a Galaxy Watch for cheaper or earbuds for cheaper. And then also you get the double the storage option for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So instead of it being 256 gigabyte, you get a 512 gigabyte model and you get it for the same price of the 256 gigabyte. Now, in all honesty, at the end of the day, it's not a bad pre-order bonus as in you are getting something really good with the double storage option. I miss the days where you could pre-order from Samsung and they would give you a free case or something for free outside of just a double the storage. It used to be you get double the storage plus something else. Now it's like, oh, you get double the storage, but then you also get a discount on a watch or earbuds, but you still have to spend a good chunk of money to buy those products. So it's not like it's like, you know, you're getting for free. If you got earbuds for free, or you got the watch for free, I'd be like, oh, that's a pretty good bonus. Kind of exactly what Google did with the Google Pixel Fold. They gave you a watch for free, which is a cool bonus because it's a $200 value. But when they give you a little bit of discount, it's just like, I don't see the purpose to even do that. Now, again, because these flagships do hold their price for as long as they do, I'm actually not against the idea here of actually going with you know, the Galaxy 24 Ultra. And when it comes to, you know, the price tag of pre-ordering it and getting double the storage. Now, I did make a video a couple days ago why you might not want to get the 24 Ultra. And I still stick behind that. Because if you have a 23 Ultra or a 22 Ultra, you're not really getting that much of a bonus going to a 24 Ultra. Yes, you are. I know somebody commented down below in my video and said, well, 8K... Uh, video is actually very important if you have a 4k tv you can actually see a better image or even 1440p monitors and you that is correct to a certain degree but again like i said i don't think it's worth the money just because of that one factor right and if you are heavily recording on the s24 ultra and you're like listen i record every single day on it it's my like i'm a photographer then maybe okay i would could say it. but if you're a regular average joe Probably not worth it to go get the 24 Ultra in any way possible. Now, I will say when it comes to the 24 Ultra, there's another reason why I don't personally... I, I, you know, listen, 
I'm not going to pre-order it. And the reason why I'm not pre-ordering it because I don't think it's worth the money. I think you can get the 23 Ultra at a discount on a secondhand website. Especially once 24 comes out. You're going to have a lot of companies selling the 23 for cheaper. And that's probably the best bet to go for. Just go for the 23 Ultra. Get at a cheaper discounted price. And don't go for the 24. But for pre-order bonuses, again, Samsung... I got to give them an L because I just feel like, well, yes, it's nice that you're getting something for this. It's just a such a small little pre-order bonus, period. And the whole point of pre-orders in general is to help out the company. Because what happens is when Samsung gets, let's say they get a million pre-orders, right? Or three million, whatever, they're, they're going to get a crap ton of this from. What they do is they take those pre-order numbers and then they go to their stockholders and say, look, we are making a crap ton of money. So invest more into us because clearly, you know, we have people who are lined up to give us their money. So clearly, you know, they're they're going to give us the money. So invest more money into us. So they get benefits back by people pre-ordering their products. People pre-order products. They take the money to stockholders. Stockholders give them more money. So again, that's why I would love to see better pre-order bonuses in general. But for this aspect, it's not as bad as foldable cell phones that go discounted in price so quickly. At least with the fly chips, they kind of hold their value. Thank you guys for watching, though. If you like, enjoy, enjoy this video. Hit the like button down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.